Hi, my name is Lindsay Widmeyer, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkard Systems. Today we're going to be covering how to set up your machine and how to create your own machine settings inside of SolidWorks CAM. So we've opened SolidWorks CAM, opened a part up into SolidWorks CAM. Again, this can happen before you design the part or as you're about to program the part. In our SOLIDWORKS CAM tab in the Command Manager, there's a Define Machine button in the top left-hand corner. So we can access the machine settings from here, or we can right-click on the machine and choose Edit Definition inside the actual Feature tree or the Operations tree. So if I choose Edit Definition here, you'll see I have my listing of machines. So there's three different machines in here. If I select one, you'll see it shows the machine information on the right-hand side. It's not my active machine until I choose the select button. As soon as I choose that select button, it chooses the machine. This is also going to define which module you're working in. So if I want the milling modules with milling toolpaths, I can select a milling machine. And if I want the turning module with turning toolpaths and turning tools, I would select the turn machine. So I would choose select and it highlights turn. If I want to add to this list, or if I want to edit these machines, I can easily go into the technology database to do this. So I'm just going to press cancel here, and I'm going to come up into the technology database. So I can either access it from here, I can go into Tools, SolidWorks CAM, and then Technology Database, or you'll also be able to find this in the Start menu. So once you're inside the technology database, you'll notice that we're in the mill section. So if I'm looking for a milling machine, I'm going to find that here under machines. We've got the three machines listed here. So if I'm looking at the mill inch machine, I'm going to click on that one. And then inside of this section, we have the option of either overriding this one. So just typing over top of the original one that's in here or we can go ahead and create a copy of this. So a copy of this is going to create a new machine. So now I've got mill inch copy, and then I can go ahead and create that as the default machine, and I can start typing over top of this. So if I wanna make this my Haas machine, so if that's my machine name, then I would wanna fill out as much information about that machine as possible. And then I would want to select the correct post processor for this. So I'd scroll down until I find the correct post. The machine duty has to do with the feeds and speeds within the feeds and speeds library that comes with the software. So I would choose what type of machine duty that this machine would be. I have the option of outputting subroutines and then can also output multiple parts by either tool, feature, or the part itself. So this is if I'm working in assembly mode. The next section is specifications. So again, the more information that you can enter in here, the more accurate your machine times are going to be in the software. So if I'm looking at the specific tool path times or the overall program time for my program, then this is where all of that information is coming from. So under the turret section, we have the changer method. So we would choose what type of changer we have. We have under the tool crib, we can select which tool crib we want to use. So if I'm using my Haas VF3, I've created a tool crib specifically for that machine. We want to select the tool crib priority option here so that it selects tools out of this tool crib first. The tool change swap time is going to be important for, again, your overall machining time specified by the software. We come down to the spindle section, we have the max RPM of the machine and the min RPM. So again, if you have this information, definitely add that in here. And then below that is the setup settings. So this is if you have a fourth or fifth axis on your machine, this is where that entry would be. So once all of that is saved in here, then we're going to come up to the top of the page and we're gonna click on the save button. That will save this as our host VF3. And again, this is my default machine. I'm gonna close out of this, and then I'm gonna come into my define machine, and then I'll go ahead and select my host VF3. So once I've selected that, I can come into the tool crib. You'll see I have my host VF3 tool crib selected. The post processor is the host VF3. So everything is linked together 
that I specified within the technology database. So again, once you've selected that machine, and as if this is my default, everything will be linked to it that I've set up inside the technology database. So in this video, we've learned how to set up your machine in the technology database, as well as how to select that machine inside of the software. Thanks for watching.